I know we make that extra money. We want to say, hey, skirt, let's go get us go get us a Range Rover. In five years, you're going to have $29,000. You know, drove your car for five years. It ain't going to be worth $29,000. Let's boss up babies build wealth. That's what we do. We build wealth and we get wealthy. This is why I'm going to give you guys some tips today on to never, ever finance your vehicle. Uh -oh. baby, don't check for me. Well, hey, boss up babies. Have you bossed up today? If you haven't bossed up today, then what are you doing? We the boss up babies around here. We boss up, we get it in, and we get it done. Yes, we do. Anyways, guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mama QT, and I'm a college professor. I teach college students on a daily basis. But on this channel, guys, I teach you as well. I give you tips on how to boss up every day in your daily life. Today, guys, we are going to be learning about never to finance a car ever again. Now, you know we got to boss up, right? And if we are gonna boss up, we got to be able to save money and we got to spend our money wisely. Cause guys, if you think about it, what's one of your highest payment when you look at your bills? What's one of your highest payments? It's gonna be either your car note, your house mortgage, maybe you might have some student loans, but mostly when you look at your expenses and your bills, it's gonna be your car note, your most expensive bill. So this is why I'm gonna give you guys some tips today on to never ever finance your vehicle. Cause boss up babies build wealth. That's what we do. We build wealth and we get wealthy. So that's what we try to do on this channel. I'm trying to teach you guys how to save and build wealth in, in the best strategies. And so in the average car note will cost you about four to $500 a month. So let's just say it's $400 a month. So you say, okay, you know what? I'm not going to spend this $400 a month. Are you going to put it in the bank? No, you're not going to put it in the bank. You're going to put it in a stock. You're going to put it in a stock or you're going to put it in an NFT that's going to at least give you 7% of return, 7% every single year. So think about it. You say $400 a month, the NFT giving you 7% of return. How much you going to have at the end of the year? Hello. You do the math. I'll wait. Exactly. You're going to have $5,389 at the end of the year if you save that money and put it in an investment instead of putting it in a car note let's boss up baby let's boss up baby and think about it one year you're gonna have five thousand three hundred eighty dollars how much you gonna have in in, in in five years with a seven percent return on your investment you gonna have twenty nine thousand dollars and you know by the time you know drove your car for five years it ain't gonna even be worth twenty nine thousand dollars it's going to be way worth way less than it because y'all already know cars depreciate. They depreciate in value every single year by at least 20 to 30 percent. So if you bought your car for forty thousand dollars, your car going to depreciate eight thousand dollars in one year. So it's not even worth financing your car, especially not a new one. So let's get into these tips. So guys, the number one reason why you should stop financing your cars is because depreciation. Your car is going to depreciate at least 20 to 30% every single year. Yes, it will. For instance, if you purchase a car for $40,000, in one year, that car is going to depreciate at least by $8,000. That's about 20%. And so instead of your car being worth $40,000, your car ain't going to be worth but nothing but $32,000. And you done paid $40,000 on it, and then you're going to be paying interest on top of that. Yes, that's going to be the number two reason, is the interest. So interest guys that they get off of these cars are ridiculous so you buying your car two times two times by the time you get finished paying all that interest in five years it's not worth it it is not worth it the second reason guys why you don't want to finance cars again is because of the interest rate is crazy it's absolutely crazy. You guys are going to be paying on a $30,000 car, an interest rate is going to cost you about $830 a year. That's about a new iPad and more. Yeah, I'd rather take the iPad than pay a darn bank $830 of my money a year. What about you? 
okay? The third reason, guys, it's going to limit you and it's going to slow you down from being debt free. And y'all already know we the boss up babies around here. We bossing up trying to get that bag. We bossing up trying to hustle and get that extra money. So if we trying to do that. We going to take 50 steps back if we have finance charges on a new car. And we don't want to do that. Okay. We the boss up babies. So hold up. Stay still. I'm going to give y'all some tips on what y'all need to do besides financing your car. I'm going to give you some tips. The fourth thing you're going to have to think about, guys, higher insurance. Yes, the more your car, the more insurance you're going to be paying out. That's just the way it go. And you're going to have an extra bill on top of that. Besides your car note, you're going to have a higher insurance note. The fifth reason, guys, why you should stop financing your car is because of inquiries on your credit. You guys know every single time your credit is looked at your score gets lower it gets lower and lower so when you're going out and you're trying to finance these big cars they're going to be looking at your credit and not just one credit bureau they're going to be looking at more than one credit bureau and that lowers and lowers your credit score and you know we boss up babies around here we got to have them good credit scores because we're building wealth and that's how we do around here and the last thing i'm gonna give you guys is you know the car gonna break and what's this gonna cost you more and more repairs right so you already gonna be paying your car note you already gonna be paying car insurance and then you got to pay repairs brand new cars break down guys yes they do so these are just some of the tips i want you guys to think about i know we get a little extra money mama q been giving y'all these little side hustle ideas and i know some of y'all probably done just done dived in and went ahead and got them started making that extra money and i know we make that extra money we want to say hey skirt let's go get us a root, 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 root. let's go get us a range rover root. let's go get us a benz let's go get us a uh let's go get us a tesla y'all know how it is mama q been giving y'all out these good tips on these side hustles and i know my boss of baby son got up on these side hustles they making the extra moolah and when you make the extra moolah you like whoa yeah 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 let's go get that that range rover but hey hold up that ain't how we boss up we boss up by putting our money in investments and making it grow and making it get bigger because we the boss up babies and that's what we do we do that around here okay Okay, guys, I'm going to give you some final tips on what you can do. As you know, sometimes, guys, we do have to finance things. We do have to finance cars because I understand everybody just don't have cash. But if you got cash, guys, to buy your car, buy your car cash. And don't try to go buy the most expensive car over there. Pay for your car cash. That's my advice. And when you pay for that car cash, ride that car till the wheels fall off. Get the full value out of your car. Because you know how some of us love to do. When we get one car, we like, oh, we tired of that car. We want to get another car. You know, that's me right there. And my husband be like, no, nah, uh, you just got that car. Well, you ain't finna get no other one. You know, he be putting me in check. So, you know, I got to come put my boss up babies in check. Ride that car till the wheels fall off. You hear me? You're here. You're her. You're her, that's what you're supposed to be doing. And you save. And if you, and another thing is I want you guys to do is instead of trying to go pick the most expensive car on the lot, just because of the name brand, don't do that. Don't worry about that. Get a nice car that's good enough for you and your family or just good enough for you that will help you stay within your budget. Don't worry about all the luxury now. Worry about the luxury later because right now we're building wealth. We're going to take that money that you would be paying more and put it in the investment and build wealth. And once we build wealth, guys, that's when you really a boss up, baby, when you're building that wealth. Until then, I want y'all to stay bossed up and stay prayed up.